Hey guys, welcome back to another Set Your Sights Challenge. Today, we're going to play with the Marlin 1894 and start doing some work to get ready for hunting season. This is one of the guns that I like to use when I'm up at my parents' place walking around. It's small, it's light, 357 Magnum. It's a good cartridge, works great on basically anything you need to shoot, whether that is pigs, coyotes, two-legged predators, doesn't matter. If you read my previous article, mom and dad live not too far from Fort Worth and they have a persistent pig problem. I like to go out there, walk around, and see if I can't help reduce the number of pigs tearing up dad's wheat fields. Little Marlin in 1894 and 357 Magnum. It's light, it's handy. 357 works great on pigs. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna work on a drill that came from Jeff Cooper's book, The Art of the Rifle. For those that don't know, uh, Colonel Cooper was a United States Marine, served in World War II and Korea, and then he went on to found the American Pistol Institute, which these days we know by the name of the Gunsight Academy. On top of being the founder of modern handgun training and the modern technique of the pistol, Jeff was a lifelong hunter and a lifelong rifleman. And this is one of the drills from his book on testing marksmanship. Um, this is the snapshot drill. In the book, he said to use a gun sight or USPSA, or it's an option target, which had a four inch scoring zone in the head and a 10 inch scoring zone at the in the body. Uh, at 25 yards, he recommended starting with the rifle loaded, on safe, in a ready position, on the go, come up, fire one round to the head at 25 yards to the four inch circle, uh, with the goal of being about a second and a half or just under. So we're gonna do this right now here at 25 yards. Um, you surely could do it on paper with a four inch circle. Balloons are a little more fun. They're also a little more challenging because they move. All right, let's see how this goes. Let's get the carbine loaded up real quick. All right, rifle's on safe. Here we go. Thirty-five, definitely a little slow. I was reaching up and struggling for the safety because I'm not used to it on the mark. Growing up, the lever gun I had didn't have much responsibility. All right, here we go. A little better, one seventy-one. One seventy-one. All right, let's try it again. So this balloon's got a little more movement than the last two, so. One thirty one, but I was just a touch high. We're going to try it again. Good hit, a little slow. One ninety nine again. Reached up to try and catch that safety, but that's why we practice. Here we go. All right, again, running a little high. Time was 130. Let's try it again, see if I can. Need more ammo. <laughs> Here we go. One sixty-five. Still a little off the time, but again, that's why we're here to practice. Last balloon here at twenty-five. Here we go. That one was just under. Can't think of one. Got to pop that balloon. Give me a minute, we'll put some more balloons up. We're gonna fall back to 50 yards and try it again. All right, here we are at 50 yards. We're gonna try this again. 
like I said, this drill came from Colonel Cooper's book, The Art of the Rifle. And in the book, he said that at 50 yards, you should use the 10 inch circle in the center of the uh, uh, gun sight option target. And you should try and maintain that same second and a half standard that is ideal. Um, we're gonna see how well this goes. Obviously, I was struggling with that a little bit up at 25. My balloons really aren't much bigger. The distance is double and they're still moving. But let's see how it goes. Obviously, I need a little work on running the lever gun. Time was a 196. We're gonna do that again from standing. Here we go. One sixty-six, but it was not a good hit. We're gonna try it again. One eighty-three. All right, at fifty yards, especially on a smaller target, getting a little more stable could always be a good thing. We're gonna take those last two balloons. We're gonna start standing and drop to a knee and see how well that goes. Again, it's practice. What we should be doing is writing down the times. So that way we could spend a little time dry firing, come back and try it again. The goal to get more proficient with the, the firearm in question. Here we go. 100. Again with a uh, miss off to the right that time from what the front sight told me. Try it again. 100. Good hit on that red balloon that time. 298. A little slower than I would like, but again, why don't we practice? Last balloon. Let's see if I can do better. Nope, not yet. Here we go. Finally, 268, so a little better than the uh, first run from the knee. Take your rifle out, give it a try, and let us know how you did. All right, continuing the theme of working with the hunting rifle, we've got the Ruger gun sight. We're gonna do just a single shot drill a couple of times at 50, 75, and 100. Just working on getting efficient and smooth on presenting the rifle and getting a single round off. At 50 yards, we're gonna do this offhand. At 75, we're gonna do it kneeling. And at 100 yards, we're gonna go ahead and go prone. Let's see how it goes. Right, 201, 201. All right, here we go, number two. Like I said, I don't have a real time standard I'm going for. I am just trying to establish a baseline for what I can do with this particular rifle, spend some time in dry fire, come back and see if I've made an improvement. Here we go. 230. All right, 230, a little slower that time. Balloon was moving and it took me a little longer to, to settle in and be happy with my uh, sight picture. Let's go back to 75 yards. We're going to try it from kneeling. All right, here we are at 75 yards. We're going to do the same drill, but this time we're going to shoot from a kneeling position. Again, timer's here. We're going to uh, get a time on the shot just to establish a baseline. Let's see how it goes. One, 351. All right, we're going to see if we can't do a little faster on this next one. Let's give it a try. <laughs> 355. A tiny bit slower, but pretty consistent. At least I know what I'm doing and I can work on it, see if I can't pick up the pace next time I'm around. Let's go back to 100 and try it from pro. All right, here we are at 100. We're gonna do this shot from pro. Let's see how it goes. Oh, 
All right, that was a 487, 487. All right, we're gonna give it one more try, see what I can do. A little faster, 474. Give it a try, let us know how you did.